All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Golden Kamui, Season 1, Episode 4. We I, have got some characters. Some some characters in this cast. It mm -hmm. is not a small cast. And no, we are, not at we all. And we are still getting through them, according to the ED. Holy yes. shit. Yes. So not only are they... Uh, many, but they are varied and unique. Yes, very S colorful. Surumi is uh, he's is a, a wild man. He's a bag of cats, that's that's for sure. He is for you sure. Know, but, it, but it's really just his temper. He's actually very reasonable. It's just once you once you deal with the whole frontal lobe issue, you know, like then right, it's right. it's fine. He, yeah, he doesn't mm -hmm. have a dog in this game anymore. Nope. Um, but we've also got characters that have you know plates in their uh, yeah, in their head forehead, rather than rather on the than, outside. You know, stapled on or wrapped yeah. around. And, and apparently the, the libido is just is just too much. He is he is undefeated both in the battlefield and the bedroom. Right. And some old men are still just little boys that want to swing their katanas around, you mm -hmm. know? Yep. What a what a cast. And meanwhile, just Sugimoto and Shirpa are just going about cooking doing and doing their thing. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm I'm in for the long haul with this wacky cast. Keep bringing us some more of these characters. Mm -hmm. So, y'all, without further ado, let's get into this. Nice. Ah, uh, gotcha. And so we need a lot of them because they're pretty small. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> God, the little bear in his coat mm -hmm. is just fucking cutest. Yo. Oh, oh, oh shit, you're on a trap. Oh no. Oh, oh shit. You almost died. You just saved your life, yeah. Yeah. Alright, because her father passed away, but... Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Mm. Gotcha, so once they used it to buy weapons... Okay. Grim Reaper. Ooh. Mm. Careful, Grandma. Some of them are going to taste like shit. いただきます。お。いや。ナイス、ナイス。うん。うまい。濃厚で濃くのある出汁が効いてるよ。こんなに簡単の根菜を食べるのは足利パさん。このままでも十分。味噌入れたら絶対合うんじゃないのこれ。
Oh shit, so okay. they saved it. Yeah. Got some fox in the hound shit. Yeah. Your family. Oh. Oh, there's no worry about that. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. But we saw her smiling just earlier uh, today. Yeah. Yep. Yep. You're bringing back her smile. Oh. Yep, you, you dumb little asshole. But she's still not going to eat poop. Please be a good husband for her. Ah. <laughs> uh. Yeah, because with what he's getting into, it's not the kind of thing that you can reasonably expect to keep her safe in. Right, so you'd have to kind of wait. He's probably just gone to get some stuff. Yeah, he probably went in for the, for the info. Yep, yep. He's going to taste it and be like, compared to the food that we would make, this is disgusting. <laughs> I love the amount of detail given just to the yeah. average meal. Oh. oh, oh no. Oh, <laughs> shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. Wow. <laughs> Saved his life there. Mm -hmm. Alright, cool. Now a Sherpa gets to save him. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. That's all I'm here for. Yep. Mm -hmm. But it might buy him time. <laughs> Dango, yes. <laughs> he sticks the skewer into his eye. <laughs> Are you twins? <laughs> oh. Well. <laughs> oh, fuck! Oh, shit! These are you done fucking with that me. Of my temper. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can't lie your way out of this. Oh, okay. <laughs> I that's, love him. That's, uh, <laughs> this guy is terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> He's so unhinged. <laughs> it distorts reality. It's, a, it's a proper <laughs> Zuko Iroh kind of situation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh. But our war isn't over. Oh, oh shit. And then we're gonna set ourselves up as rulers? 
Oh, sure. Oh my god. That's true. That's yeah. A, yeah. It's a fair point. <laughs> that would scare me yeah. shitless. Hey. So it wasn't <laughs> yeah. actually his sock. It was yeah. it was this guy's sock. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> <That's> a one piece face. <laughs> mm -hmm. Cool. Cool. この時計は、ヒグマなら10歩だから。お前なら1歩も動けずに死ぬ。yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh yeah escape king yep yeah. <laughs> uh, oh ow 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 oh no <laughs> okay <laughs> I like that he attempted you know yeah exactly he gave it a shot you know Oh, okay, okay. Yep, yep. Yep. Oh! Oh my god! Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> I may fight like a demon, but I also know when to fight like a demon. Okay, all right. All right. Yeah, that was a really strong uh, ending for the episode there. Yep. We got ourselves a cliffhanger. We have Sugimoto actually captured. He's on his well, way to break yeah. out. Um, but, yeah, he does fight like a demon. He does. And, and Surumi uh, ne negotiates like an unhinged demon. <laughs> like, I, I like the way he thinks, though. Yeah, you know, it's like, yeah. hey, this guy's obviously bullshitting me. Yep. Yeah. That makes me mad, so I want to hurt him, but also, Tsukumoto the Immortal. Hmm. If this dude's just a regular-ass soldier, I'll bet if I stick this skewer through his cheeks, that'll hurt like a motherfucker, right? right, right. Like, like, but Tsukumoto the Immortal... He wouldn't bat an eyelid at Yeah, that. yeah, he wouldn't bat an eye. Okay, awesome. I, I, I love the wide-eyed characters in anime where they just kind of look at you like they're loving life more than they should be, you know? Right. And they're just like, hi, I'm going to take over Hokkaido. I'm going to have the gold, and we're going to set ourselves up as little little soldier gods. Right. we didn't get anything of him coming back. Isn't that kind of fucked up? Yeah, yeah it's yeah. kind of fucked up. So now, uh, fuck these Stare people. straight at the camera. You should take care of your soldiers. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> just like, okay, all right, all right, you, you crazy motherfucker. Yeah. Like it, yeah. it really does feel like this show is kind of half cooking show, yes. right? Yes. <laughs> you know, which is which is wonderful Hina, because Hina, right, right. <laughs> waiting for him to like get like shot or something. It's just like Hina, Hina, <laughs> you know. But then the other half is like a bunch of characters all competing for who's the who's the craziest son of a bitch in in this yeah. world, yeah, right? Yeah. You know, and it's like, yeah. all right, who who okay. is it? Yeah, yeah. So you know. Sugimoto, like, he'll be all like, are you Sugimoto the Immortal? And he'll just, like, make jokes about, like, yeah, do you, maybe you're not right in the head, you know? And he's like, well, <laughs> you're actually, you're, you're right. You're on the right track. And you then know? the soldiers are like, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then, <laughs> right. <laughs> it's just, th this show, this show really does such a good job of blending the calm moments mm -hmm. with the, not even acceleration, just instant transition to, to fast pace, right? Yeah. And then, and 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 yet keeping it snappy, right? Like, right, right. I think I think the thing that this show suffers the most from potentially is the lack of focus. It is a very it is mm. a very unfocused show. But in that respect, that's where its biggest strength is as well. Is that we get this very uh, varied experience in terms of we get a little bit of this, we get a little bit of that, we get a little bit of this. But because yep. we only really have two main characters here. Everyone else is just really colorful tapestry exactly. for 
Sugimoto and yeah. Shirpa to kind of play off of. Since, right, even though the overall cast is quite big, mm -hmm. the core cast is very small, and exactly. I think that, that helps with the whole focus thing, because otherwise right. it would actually become a problem rather than right. like, you know, just something that's that's a that's a a fun bit of unique flavor for this show. Because mm -hmm. um, while they like when I when I mentioned the whole travelogue thing for like Sugimoto's cooking adventure, <laughs> I, I really feel like that's kind of where this is going to be going, even though it hasn't gone there yet, right? Like they haven't left this town, yep. but man should start a Yelp business or something. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He, like, came right. And he was like, oh yeah, the soba, mm -hmm. with the fish. Oh yeah, yeah the broth is nice and texture, thick. Yep, and and the fish melts in mm, your mouth. Just exactly how I like it. Right, right, exactly. Oh, five stars. You know, right. And then immediately. How does oh, this skewer the, taste? <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, also, but like, yeah. Are you the one that's looking for the tattoos? Yes, it's him right there. And suddenly, flying, you know, yeah. like. Flying like, kick, yeah. Like flying Yakuza kick. And, <laughs> and, and I love it goes how. parallel to the ground. I love how dedicated Sugimoto was to the, um, well, I guess I'm lying my way out of this, right? Somehow, because, because I'm, I, like, even though I'm Sugimoto the Immortal, mm -hmm. you know, and I very much believe my own hype. If there's four dudes standing with guns pointed at me from different directions, I'm not, I'm not really getting out of that, right? Like, you know, there's, there's, there's not much you can do. So, okay, I'll just be like, yeah, I was trying to get back at the the guy who, you know, uh, hurt this hurt this lady, you know, and uh, and then suddenly guys with weapons show up. Of course, I'm the freak out, you know. It's like, yeah. mm. it, but you know, he's he he sticks to the bit, right? Mm -hmm. You know, even when it's questioned, he then just. He's just like DM, I roll again. <laughs> you know, yeah, like yeah, true, true. Yeah. I will say though, this actually does bring up a thing where he is probably not actually leaving a Sherpa mm -hmm. because he didn't take any of the stuff to find the gold. He didn't take any of the drawings, he didn't take any of the stuff oh. there. Because if he did if they did, they would have found it on him. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. So in a lot of mm -hmm. ways, he probably went here to do something right. You know, for you know the purpose of you know investigating, sure. But he doesn't okay, want that's to. It. He doesn't want to steal the gold. He's not that, betraying her that way, right? If well, anything, he might be leaving, but he's not. Mm -hmm. He's not necessarily because um, I betraying her. Yeah, right. He's not betraying her um, in the traditional way that people would expect, but she mm -hmm. still sees it as a betrayal because she has abandonment issues because her dad was taken from her, right? And then yeah. also, um, Retar was. Uh, you know, a wolf, not a pet, right? Yeah, and um, they, that 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 theme that they focused on with the bear and stuff is something that she then, you know, tried to do again. Yep, showing yep. that she really does need companionship, uh -huh. and it doesn't need to be family. It doesn't need nope. to be a, a lover. It doesn't need to be any specific type of companionship. It can it just even needs to be, be a somebody companion. You know, even if they eat poop, even if they eat shit, exactly. Yeah. Um. But that doesn't I, mean he has shit taste, though. Yeah, but I do think I do think that the reason that he left was from a standpoint of I I'm Sugimoto the Immortal. I get into a lot of hot water, you know, mm -hmm. and I don't necessarily want to bring her into all of that, like because the yeah the, like I, and, like I'll maybe hold it wasn't reservations on that because I, I I'm not I, I'm not I'm not like I'm not convinced hard set fully, on that really. But the fact that the last thing that was said to him before he left was the grandma talking to him mm -hmm. about like, hey, you know, my my granddaughter means a lot to me, you know, and stay all by that her stuff. side forever. Stay by her side forever. Right. You and know. I think I think that's why he's specifically like trying to do this before she wakes up and stuff is that he's not wanting to abandon her and leave her and stuff. Mm -hmm. He's still looking for the gold and stuff. Right. But he's doing his part, which is the part that wouldn't make her smile necessarily. He's doing yeah. the dirtier parts of things. You know, mm -hmm. he's going into the town, the people that don't like the Ainu. He's right. gonna, you know, maybe get a little violent potentially. Mm -hmm. He kind of knows what to expect coming here. Yeah. Um and uh, yeah, and I don't I don't think that he would ditch right after hearing that. No, yeah, not well not like in like a not in like an absolute, you know, sense. But well, in any sense, like what what would be the well, what would be the non absolute? Well, sense? I think I think the the thing that the thing that kind of confirms for me of the ah uh, no he like this was this was very much a temporary thing is the fact that he didn't take the the skins with him right yeah you know so their their deal still stands but he did not want her to be a part of this right um yeah. and and whether that's whether that's from a protect her kind of a thing because of what the grandma said or a uh, I'm gonna do some of the stuff that maybe she wouldn't she wouldn't care for. Mm -hmm. um, 
Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. But I, I do like that from the standpoint then of, you know, while he's going to be trying to bust his way out and might be successful with that, she'll get to actually come in and uh, yeah, help and, him get out. And seeing the uh, the Escape King guy again was, was fantastic. That was great. I, I the, loved the dirty the, sock that oh, was switched. Yeah, so. they, they, they did find a sock that uh -huh. did, it was his, but yep. yeah, unfortunately... Uh, no, this guy ended up wearing it because they basically stripped down to most, mm -hmm. most, uh... Which, I gotta <laughs> say, that's rather impressive that the socks got switched right. after taking a dip in water. Mm -hmm. Sugimoto started wearing it, but the stench that was on that sock was still stronger from the time before it was in the water <laughs> than all the time that Sugimoto wore it after. <laughs> <laughs> like that's some stank. Like that's it's, that's it's, some next it's, level. Like, it's unwashable. In yeah, <laughs> it's so the, it's baked the into smell, the very fibers. The like, smell that's coming off of it is just like, oh, yeah. this is some ancient sins that we're tapping into here. <laughs> I think I think that one of the the like sad things about this is that it's the uh -huh. yeah yeah. If a soldier is you know left to their own deal. Yep. And they don't get, you know, new quarter master, you know, mm -hmm. kind of thing of supplies and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. They're going to wear the same clothes for a long time. And they're going to walk, you know, you know, miles and miles a day. And if they're if they're very disciplined, maybe they'll maybe they'll wash their socks, you well, know, well, once a week. Well, no, 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 no. It's just the idea that, like, if the socks are for winter specifically they are thick oh these yeah these have absorption abilities yes like, there's 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 no way they're gonna let your feet get layers <laughs> exactly so there's like yeah layers of caked dead skin like you could that, you know like, like you like, could have an archaeologist like do the thing where they go into the layers of the of the of the filth not in the dirt but just in the socks <laughs> you know to like to like do some carbon dating <laughs> see like, see see sherpa you're kind of a hypocrite because you won't taste the you know poop or what have you but, but you'll, you'll smell and pick up yeah the sock <laughs> that probably has you know more rancid non-edible like if, if that sock started like crawling away i wouldn't like, be surprised i wouldn't be surprised <laughs> <laughs> like yeah you could probably put that into a pentagram in the middle and oh, yeah. the devil would show up just right. like oh yeah <laughs> so you brought me the good shit like like this is that <laughs> this is an omega cursed item thank you old cut but this is this is that like uh sentient bacteria from the episode of cowboy bebop you know that like goes around the ship like that's this song <laughs> So I also just love little plot devices that are ones that you can kind of hand wave away as like, ah, oh, that's good. Yeah, we did see that. Mm -hmm. We we didn't remember it, but it's yep. the ah, oh, that's a good explanation and for that's how a, we can quickly get things back on track. And bring a character back in. But also bring really a liked. character back yeah. in. Because I I generally love the interaction potential so far of all the people that have been introduced of like, mm -hmm. oh, I wonder what a conversation between these two people would yes. be like, and these two people, and these two people. And I just feel bad for the guy, because, like, after all of that shit that he went through, he's like, peace, I'm out, and then suddenly this wolf shows up and starts, like, pulling him out of the snow by its teeth. Just I mean, twice. Yeah. First time, it just wakes him up, just... <laughs> and yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> like, 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 that would scare me so bad I would shit myself immediately. My guy can't catch a break. Like that's right. just. But I also love that he he did the I'm gonna shake off my scent by diving into the snow, right? <laughs> burrowing through, and then pops out like, yeah, I did it. And then I <laughs> just. <laughs> I also love the fact that. You know, while we had the moment with Ratar being um, very much not a pet, mm -hmm. all the moments in this episode, in the present, he's very much a pet. He's very much, uh, you know, the understanding of the pecking order and the hierarchy here. Mm. So, you know, y you've got a pretty good friend with oh, this yeah. wolf, uh, Shirpa. You so. can even do whatever that weird pose was or hiding thing or dismounting <laughs> or whatever it was in that, in that one still image. <laughs> Which is like... Starfish on the side. Yeah, of it's just, 
no one can see me. It's like, <laughs> I am invisible. Honey, honey, there's a giga wolf right there. Like, it's, it doesn't matter if they see you or not. That even if even if they see you on top of the wolf, they're not going to be concerned about you. They're going to be concerned about the wolf. Right. <laughs> so, like, this doesn't... The only thing I could literally think of is that the wolf is white, therefore it kind of blends in with the snow, so in the darkness it's probably harder to see. Sure. And... Yeah. Maybe. But maybe. even then, that was just mm-hmm. hilarious as yep. far as a visual. But yes. yeah, um, so to me... You're a fantastic son of a bitch. I, oh yeah, I, I love your sadistic, scary little face. He's he's and like that, got that, that just horror goatee mustache combo mm-hmm. with the eyes. It's the villain facial hair plus like right plus extra extra sprinkles, and right. it's it's great. Like a man is trying to play a scuffed Darth Vader from the Renaissance period, you know? Yeah, and yet and yet the thing is, I love that he's not the crazy archetype all the time, right? No, he's it's, pretty reasonable yeah, for the he's, most part. Like, yeah, but then there, there are those specific things, with an explanation maybe as to why, that mm-hmm. just makes him go into crazy mode, you know? And you don't ever exactly know what you're gonna get. Right. Yeah, he's, he's, awesome. he's a little die roll there. Mm-hmm. But uh, y'all, thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. You can get an early access there. You can watch full-length timer reactions there. And all this comes with Discord access. You can chat with us in the community there about this show, about anime in general. And also be sure to check out episode 5 Royal Let's Play on Twitch. If any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.